Hi, welcome back. So this is going to be the second video in the Lua Logic and Liquid series, or whatever order that's in. I think I'm going to do something where I'm going to record it while I build something. So, so far, what I've got here is I've set up, I'm building like a little dial that like has a, uh, you'll see, but anyway, so you put in the number here, video goes out there, and I've just done this you know, standard little setup here. So, I guess let's hop into this little script. So, I want to make it sizable for at least one by one or two by two. Maybe a bigger option, possibly, but really those are the two I want to make it work for. So, let's go ahead and clean up our code here. Let me get rid of this. Okay, and then I want to change my color here. Let's be like 100, 100, 100. Something like that. So now we've kind of got everything set up the way I would like it. So, first part of my design is I want to have a line that's about half the width of the screen, but it's like a quarter down and a quarter up. And so, every time I'm in here and I'm trying to like do crazy stuff with this width and height here that it gives me, it screws it up and gets super duper confused, so I'm going to do something else here. What I can do is, we will just add two channels, we'll go grab some properties. Um. Property number. I think I'm going to do something like a block width to like I'll set them to default too. And there's uh, 32 pixels per block so um, all we gotta do is multiply these by 32 and we will have our width and height so. alright so looking this up looking this up So we've got it currently width, height, and so that goes two and three. So we'll go ahead and just copy this real quick. And we will have W equal that. We're going to get rid of this down here. This is probably not like the best solution, but it's the way I've been doing it for a while now, and it works at least because it'll let you do crazy maths with numbers that you put in it, but it won't let you do them with global things. So I've got now my new width and height here. So <coughs> let's see your so I want to draw my line starting so for. Green dot draw line. And the X one is probably going to be three fourths of the way through the screen. So we'll do. We need a new thing here. Um, uh, I don't know if I can do that. So. equals width over four um, on this that's one fourth 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 is equal 
up to you. One fourth times three. See, like that. So now I've got my values that I need to make my locations um, fit on any screen, depending on you know whatever you put in there. So we do. We got. We want to do three fourths. So it's gonna. So it's three fourths of the way across, and it's gonna be one fourth down, and then three fourths oops there, and then three fourths actually. We want to do three fourths of the height there, one fourth of the height here, not of the width. So I need to make some new variables here. So these are all width. We want Sequels. H for this one equal to H times three. So now we've got what we need to make it perfect here. So then we now will use one fourth H and then three fourths H. And then we'll close that. Now this is a pretty complicated thing to do for one line, so I am actually gonna take it out here and I'm gonna test it. Make sure I did it right. So far I'm just gonna have like a line here. It's gonna be called Okay. Okay. So I want to make sure it's in the right spot. I might need to move it around a little bit more if it doesn't look right. dock. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, we're at the wrong spot. Hold on. So go over to the hangar and make it day while we're at it. Probably should have checked that before I started recording, but whatever. This is going to be a long video anyway. Spawning it in here. So obviously it's sitting right on the screen. So it's I need to do do three of them. They'll all be different sized. This one will be the five by three. This one will be the one by one. Screw the one by one, this one is the five by three. Now let's see how it looks. That's not bad, that's kinda what I wanted. Yeah. So now um you see it's the same thing. All of these. So now for the more complicated parts of this. So I wanted to I'm gonna wanna put numbers, like the minimum and maximum numbers. Um on there and then put numbers between them that kind of go up because it's going to the number is going to be on this side of it right here and then there's going to be like a, a a pointer that moves up and down as it points 
And so, yeah, all right. So, let's delete these three. Let's delete two of them. We'll hop into this one. All right, so now we need to get our maximum number. So we have to get a new property. This will be max value. I'll set this to one for now. And so we want to take our input here. I think it's input divided by max. It's I just woke up, so I'm probably wrong with that, but. We'll know real soon if I'm wrong about that. It's input divided by max, and then multiplied by the height of the screen. Or the yeah, we do height. So that will make it proportional to our thing. Actually, that's not right. So we want to do height of the screen. We need three fourths of it. So multiply. We'll can I multiply it by three fourths? Does it work like that? No, I can't put slashes in here. Crap. Well, we'll have to out here. I'll have to do the divide by one fourth. Cause I want it to fit right inside that thing where maximum is. Yeah, because we've got a. Actually, we just need to divide it by two. Yeah. Yeah. So we divide this. Number by two, because our line that we're basing everything off of is only half the height of the screen, right? So we want the max number to be at the top of that, minimum number to be bottom of that. So rather than multiplying it, multiplying our value value by the height of the screen, which would mean zero is the top of the screen and one's the bottom, we're gonna do it so that like quarter way is the top and Three fourths is the bottom. Yeah, you know, I'm realizing right now I didn't have to do all that dividing. I could have just multiplied our height and width times three fourths, but we we'll learn, I guess. So we've got that. that. So we're not done with our max value because we're gonna need to add another one of these. Channel four. And that's gonna be our max. Is we're gonna be displaying that at the very top of our list. So we want to do screen dot draw text. This will be at so I need a width time actually we can just do plus two pixels. So three fourths one fourth. So we need Plus three. Actually, it might be a bit too much. Plus two. And then it'll be down. One fourth plus two. Okay. And it's value. Oh, we need to get our max. It'll be our max number. So let's see if everything tests out the way we want it. So we'll just be doing the two by two screen at the moment. We'll do the other size checks in a minute. The two by two is the most important one. So it fits this pretty nicely. I think it'll fit two digits on the screen. But then after that, it's it's all off the screen. I don't know if that's something. I'm, I mean, there's not an easy solution to that. And I don't think I care that much because it, it, you can use it just fine with what we've got here. 
you don't need any more room. And if you went to a bigger screen, you would have it automatically, and it would just work better. But then if we go to a smaller screen, yeah, we need to do that real quick. I will be getting another copy of this. Let me go in here and save what we've got here. So and then we need a thing here. It should be updated, but I'm gonna go ahead and check. Yeah, it is. And we need to set it to be one by one, because I want this. To, I really do want this to work with one by one. Okay, there we go. You know, if this doesn't work with one by one, then it's gonna kind of suck. See, what I think's gonna happen, yeah, like that. We just get the first digit there. You see, then I can have minimum and maximum. Then again, the uh, see, the two pixels is a lot now. It's really down there. Here it looks right. I'm I'm deciding about my minimum because I don't have a variable minimum right now, and I don't really want to add one because you don't really ever need one. So I think we'll just leave that all the numbers over there consist of that or that, and then we will put a little lines on there maybe to kind of give better reading. So we'll put some lines in. This will be a three, three fours. So that's drawing a line, like just a tiny little line, right at halfway. Oh, we have a problem. Didn't like that. Hmm. So we've, uh, Pushed it a little much with that hole. Oh, might need to start again, not dragging more. So, actually, and eh, whatever. I'll just do width, uh, width divided by two. There, simple as that. Let's see if that fixes the problem. No, it didn't. It's seriously pissed. Alright. What do we got here? Now it's pissed out the three fourths. <laughs> so we will hop in here. I, I just hate how it gets so mad when I do this. So I want to do three fourths minus one. You know, I bet you if I got rid of that minus one. It wouldn't be pissed. Now I need the minus one, so I can make a new variable that is three fourths minus one. I could even export three fourths out of the microcontroller, subtract one, and put it right back in. See right now, that line is way too long. I want it to be two pixels long, and it is all the way off the screen. But it's a start. It's in the right spot. Other than that.
So we are drawing it three four. So honestly, it shouldn't be that long. Unless I've misspelled something here. Oh I did. That's probably what pissed it off so much. So now we'll do three fourths properly done minus one. Mm, we'll see if that works. Yeah, it does. Okay, so this should give me what I want. Oh, it didn't? Hmm. We got something, but didn't do what I was expecting it to do. Wanted it to draw me a little line. A little thing. So it all worked the first time. Three fourths, three fourths. We'll just subtract five and see if we can figure out where it went. Then we'll not do that permanently, of course. Because if I end up subtracting any more than one one or two pixels, then I'm gonna actually make it relative to the size of the screen. Okay, so there it is. It is really little. For some reason, that that's not five pixels. I don't think. For sure. Hold on, guys. Just one moment. I'm talking to this dude. He sent me a friend request real quick. So I want to go ahead and accept that. back to what we were doing. So I want to see how this looks on the smaller screen and if it does if it's out of proportion on that then I'll make the five pixels relative to the height of the screen. Actually to the width. What am I saying? So we will save this version. Grab it from my inventory with the update of course. Set it to one by one. You know, it's a very slow and kind of methodical process, you know, building these. It just kind of takes time, but it's a good, relaxing activity. Okay, so it, it, it's the same length, but it doesn't look bad by any means, but I would like it relative, so I will do that real quick. So we will do, what is that, like, 1 16th? I'll go for 1 16th. I'll be using the 1 by 1 display from now. So, I'm going to do, this will be 16, 16 of a width is equal to w divided by 16. Alright, let's see, so we need to do, this will be minus 16. Width. This might really piss it off. I'm serious. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh. Ooh, that's always good. Might have done a little bit too short though. Well, no, that's 
pretty much what I was going for. We got that little tiny dot there, right about the middle. And then, of course, that one isn't updated, so it's rendering a bit too big. We'll go ahead and update two by two. Actually, I haven't saved it. Yeah, we'll just keep working with the one by one for now because it's the more important one. Sadly, I mean, it, it's the one I because people aren't gonna put two by two screens for one dial in their t in their cockpit. Two by two is an optional thing. If you, I don't know what it would be good for, the one by one is the really important one. So now I want to go ahead and put in my line that's actually doing the stuff. So we need to do. What about you? So we all right. Let's just do this. So. Do we have so values number one? Is that number one? Yeah, that's our input there. So that's from zero to halfway up our screen is what it's giving us right now. So I want to do this would be our so I want to do screen dot set color two five five zero zero like that and then. We'll give us some room with the gray area because we're probably going to do a little bit more background, but I want to make sure this needle looks good with this. This is going to be a bit of a standard needle, nothing special. So we will start with it'll be at half, the base of it will be at half the width of the screen. So we have that. So we'll do screen, scroll, screen dot draw. Half width, and then we'll do half height. We don't have that yet, so let's go and give ourselves a half height. This is probably not the most efficient method, but it's the one I know how to do. Half height is high, and two, and then half width, half height, and then. Here comes the fun bit. So now we're doing at three fourths, and then the next number is the one I'm a little worried about. See, because we got to do the height here is our value plus one fourth the height. Yeah, there's one fourth h. Let's. Hmm, I'm, I'm very worried about this working, but we'll see how it does. Now we need ourselves a throttle lever to uh, tell if it's doing anything like refreshing, right? So let's hook that up. Uh, let's do this. So it's starting all the way up there. It's it's obviously no, it's very broken. Very, very much broken. <laughs> We've got it starting in the middle. I like that. But everything past that is wrong. Um doesn't even appear to be doing anything, so I've probably astronomically screwed up one of the numbers. I a thing that I like to do when I can't 100% figure out what I've done wrong here. So we're going to save it like this. Broken and all. We're going to grab it. We're going to grab it. We're going to hook it up to a huge screen like the 5x3 here, but we're going to set it to do only a 1x1. One one so we can see everything that goes off the screen. That's very useful if you have no idea why it's not working. Hmm. Well, that didn't help at all. Shit. So, its starting point is right. The second point is so far wrong. I think it's the the width and height, the x and y of the second location is they're both wrong. Entirely. So, 
half width and half height. That worked nicely. Then we needed three fourths width and a value plus one fourth height. What if we just zeroed this number out for a minute? Let's see if our first value is actually working or not. Then we'll rewrite it in a minute. Okay, so now it's drawing the line from center straight to the zero, right? Also, this looks like it's a little bit too close to this. I want this line to be a little bit further back. So we'll worry about that in a minute. I think I'll do the width minus one-fourth. Okay, I think this is the one that we updated. Yeah, okay, so we will do width, half width, minus fourth. Three fours, and then I'm not even checking it, but think let's see what we get this time oh who that's real promising right there we've got there now it's not responding like it should so when our value is the thing I'm trying to figure out is why it's starting at max oh wait oh Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, so. First off, I think our value is broken. So we're going to take a look out here before we go in there. This is what happens if we switch these? It's just real quick. That troubleshooting, you know. Probably not a good idea, but you know, we'll see what it does. So, no, not a good idea, but it tells me something. So, if I made this throttle lever go negative, what would it do? Because we need to make our number inverted. That's the part of what I've screwed up here. But at the moment, it should work positively. So if I go negative, okay, that's positive. If I go negative, it. Yeah, there's definitely some math stuff wrong, but we didn't need to switch those leads. So we'll put them back. So then we're multiplying it by the height. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Height blocks. Oh. You multiply it by the height times the right amount of pixels. We've only been doing like one or two pixels. So now, let's get it so I can see it. Yep, so that's off the screen. That's on the screen. Alright, so we're drawing the line. Now I want it to start down there, down at the bottom, right here, and then work its way up. So I need to. So what's going on up here? Oh yeah, this is the old thing. So we need to make it negative. Like it's subtracting. Rather than adding. That's in the Lua here. We will do 
would change the height. So rather than adding that's a value. Actually, so hold on. It's supposed to be three four fourths height minus value. Alright, here we go. So, we're pulling this back. What happens? Oh, that's a negative. No, that doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's negative. Oh, yeah, that's nice, though. That works. But we set our maximum to uh, 1. So, if we go negative, of course it goes off the screen. But between 0 and 1, that's accurate. It's proportional and everything. Now it just needs a little bit more love and making it look kind of fancy. But I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video because it's taken absolutely forever. And this other dude is contacting me. He wants to do something together. So I'm going to go do a voice call with him right now. But if you actually watched this, thanks. And I hope I could help you with learning some kind of stuff. But just by watching me code.